Our learning goal today is I can add or subtract to find the unknown addend in a math story. Mrs. Marzullo has eight apples. Five of them are red. The rest of them are green. How many apples are green? So I need to find out the unknown, which would be how many apples are green. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a number bond. And I know that there's eight apples. That's my total. That's my big number. And I know that five of them are red. So five is going to go here. And I'm going to put an R, red R there for red. That's how many are red. So right here is my unknown, my other part of eight that is going to be green. So I can make a math drawing to show how to solve the mystery number. So I'm going to make eight circles. And those are my eight apples. And I know that five of them are red. So I'm going to circle five of them. Now in order to solve this, writing a number sentence to solve, I could say five plus, this is my unknown, equals eight. And if I'm going to solve this, I would go to 5 and count up and say 6, 7, 8. I counted up 3 times to get to 8. Another way I could solve that is 8 minus 5 equals, and I would solve that by counting back from 8 five times, and that's going to give me three. So my unknown over here is three. This is how many apples are green. Was it quicker for me to solve that problem by saying five and counting up three to get eight, or was it quicker to say eight and count back five to get to three. Think about what was quicker. Well, it was quicker to count on three times to get to eight instead of taking away five from eight. That takes longer. So this was a better way to solve the problem of the unknown, which is three. Now we're going to practice a problem together. You have this paper. You can use it while you follow along with my problem. It says, use simple math drawings to show how to solve with addition and subtraction. Label the number bond. There are five apples. Four are Sam's. The rest are Jim's. How many apples does Jim have? So in my directions, it says use simple math drawings to show how to solve with addition and subtraction. So I look at my number bond and I see this is how many I have in all, or my total, and I'm going to draw five apples. Of those five apples, four of them are Sam's. So I'm going to circle four of those apples. And this would be a part in my number bond. And I'm going to put an S for Sam. This is going to be how many gems are. So I used my math drawing, or I made a math drawing, and now I'm going to use number sentences to help me solve. So I know that there are four that are Sam's, and this is how many I have in all. So in order to find out this number here, 
I can count up from four and I would count up one time to get to five. Or I can take the total, how many I have in all, and subtract how many Sam has. And I can count back four from five and my answer would be one. I get the same unknown here, one and one, either way I solve it. So that means Jim has one of those apples. I see it in my drawing over here and I'm gonna put it in my number bond. And then I'm also gonna make sure I answer this part. Jim has one apple. Was it easier for me to solve it this way? Counting up to, from four, counting up one time to get to five, or was it better this way to say five and count back four times? I think it was much quicker to solve it this way. Go to four and count up one time to get to five. Do you agree? Problem number two, you're looking at your paper. We're gonna solve another one together. There are eight mushrooms, five are black. The rest are white. How many mushrooms are white? Well, the directions say to draw a picture, a math drawing. So I wanna make sure that I do that first. So I'm going to draw eight circles to be my eight mushrooms. If I look at my number bond, I'm gonna label it because I also wanna label my number bond. There's eight mushrooms in all. Five of them are black. So I'm gonna circle one, two, three, four, five. That's how many are black. So this is one part of my number bond, one part of eight. Here's a B, I'm labeling it for black. There's five that are black. And then I'm gonna look at my number sentences and I'm going to start here and put five because that's one part that I know. I know that I have five and I know that I have eight total. So this is my unknown. If I count up from five, I count up six, seven, eight. I counted up three times to get to eight. That's one way to solve it. Or I can start with how many I have in all, which is eight, and subtract the part that I know. I know that I have five, so five can go here. And then I would count back from eight five times. Seven, six, five, four, three. So my unknown is three. So up here on my number bond, I'm gonna write three. This is how many are white. And then over here, I wanna answer this part. Three mushrooms are white. So now you're going to solve number three and number four on the back. When you solve the problems, you need to make sure you follow directions. You need to make a math drawing. You need to complete the number bond and label it. You need to put how many are in all. And then you need to label the two parts. Complete the addition sentences, addition and subtraction sentence and then you need to answer this part. So we will be looking for that when you answer problems three and four. And just to review, when I solved this problem here, was it quicker for me to add to find the unknown part, to count up from five, or was it quicker to take the total eight and count back five times? I would say that this was quicker. Now go ahead and stop, pause your iPad, and go on and do number three and four and make sure you follow all the steps. Okay, now we're gonna do problem number two together. One more problem. It says, there are eight mushrooms, five are black, the rest are white. How many mushrooms are white? So again, I'm gonna start with my number bond. Eight is the total 
of mushrooms. Five of them are black, so I'm going to put a five here, and that would be, I'll put a B next to it for black, so I'm labeling my number bond. The rest are white, so this is my unknown.